Reserve aged beef is special for a couple of reasons. First of all, it tastes amazing. Uh, secondly, it involves a proprietary aging process that we invented in-house. My name is Michael Selby. I'm the product development manager at, at Lunds & Byerly's. At Lunds & Byerly's, we have a product development team of chefs. Our goal is to develop new products, products that don't exist yet, products that we don't have, and products that our customers need. So a few years ago, we started researching all forms of aging with beef. Uh, we started with dry age. Dry age provides exceptional depth of flavor, but isn't always the most consistent product. Uh, so we started researching other forms of aging, from old world aging techniques, including wood chips on the floor, and uh, to some of the new modern approaches, like whiskey aging and so forth. The research was quite rigorous. We traveled to butcher shops all over the country, uh, restaurants, we tried, Everything you can imagine, in Kobe, some of the best prime and choice. We decided to come back and develop something wholly new. For reserve aged beef, we exclusively use Double R Ranch beef. Uh, family farmers that are committed to raising exceptional beef. Reserve aged beef starts with activated charcoal. We gently rub that into the fat cap, just the surface. And then we add alderwood salt. Not on the beef because we're not marinating. It just goes on the surface of the fat. And then we wrap it with a virgin cedar paper. Then off it goes to an enclosed environment for aging. The advantage of an enclosed aging environment is consistency. Once we put a minimum of 28 days on each primal, we trim the fat off and portion them into steaks and you have a rich, nutty flavor. I always like to start reserve age in a cast iron pan. I put a light sear on it. Because it's very dry and aged, you're able to get good caramelization on it. So this is the sound that we're looking for. This is the color we're looking for, that rich bronze. It'll continue to render in the oven. In goes the garlic, a little bit of rosemary. It absolutely smells amazing. So once we've got to this point, we've got a good color. We're gonna go into the oven at 425 convection. Here. We want the wind to really help us roast it and continue on. So, middle rack, depending on the thickness of your steak, you're looking at about five to seven minutes for a nice medium rare to medium. What makes Reserve Age great is it's a steak for any occasion. We're part of large celebrations, especially with our Reserve Age rib roast during the holidays. We have wonderful sirloins in the summertime, as well as New York strips and ribeye. So whether it's a barbecue party, holiday party, corporate event, it's a steak for any occasion.